Here's a do-it-yourself way to make a miniature gnome from a 6x9 and a 4x7 millimeter pony bead, fabric, paper, and string. The pony beads form the body base. Materials are listed below the video in the description box. This is a display of the main parts and pieces to make one bearded gnome. A braided version is shown later. I use a soft faux fur polyester fabric for the beard. Other ideas include flocking glue to paper, cotton ball or swap bits, yarn pieces fuzzed out with a pin, in a 3 8 by 3 quarter inch size, and then you'll shape it later. Paper punches work for the hat pattern, hands or mittens, shoes, and the nose. Or you could always hand cut the pieces. Choose your 6x9 millimeter pony bead base. The 4x7 millimeter pony bead top base will be covered by the cone hat. Select a hat material like faux suede, felt, or cotton. I'm using faux gray in this assembly. If you do not have the color that you'd like, you may be able to change it with paint, marker, or pencil, like I have done with the quilling paper and copy paper. Glue the two pony beads together, as shown, and then let it dry. Here is one way to make the hat cone pattern. Punch or cut a one inch copy paper circle. Fold that in half. Pencil mark up 7 sixteenths of an inch on the crease center and make a dot. Then go up to the 11 16th from the crease center, as shown, and mark that with a dot. Draw a horizontal line from the 7 16th dot center and then make a mark on either side of the circle. Draw a line from the 11 16th center to the 7 16th circle outside dots. Fold the circle again. Cut along the vertical line. Open to use the cone for the hat pattern. Cut a fabric cone shape hat from the pattern piece. Wrap the back side of the fabric around a cone shape like a pencil top. Place a strip of glue down half of the lower side as shown. Bring the glued lower side over onto the edge of the opposite lower side. Press together. Then glue the top half of the fabric edge and pull it together. Press the ends. Before the hat dries, test the hat on a 4x7 bead to make sure it completely covers it. Adjust if needed and then let dry. Glue a vertical strip on both of the beads. Attach the beard about halfway down on the top bead. Press. The gnome hat pattern and beard can be modified for other mini scales and of course other creatures. With scissors, trim and shape the beard, the sides and the bottom as desired, and then remove extra fluff pieces. Then gently move the top center beard pieces to the right and to the left, creating an opening to glue the nose. For the nose, punch two 1 8 inch circles from copy paper. Use a stylus to create a dome shape. Glue one dome shape on the beard top, then glue that nose piece and put the other nose piece on top for strength. To make the shoes, punch two 1 8 inch circles from cardstock. Use stylus to create another dome shape for the shoe top. Next, punch two 1 8 inch raindrop shapes from cardstock. Place a drop of glue to the larger raindrop end. Gently place the dome top of the shoe onto the glue and let that dry. For the sleeves, cut two strips of 1 8 inch by half inch quilling strips or cardstock. For hands or mittens, cut or punch two 1 8 by 1 8 inch rounded ends as shown. Then glue them to the edge of each sleeve. Gently round the arms and glue to either side of the beard. Fold excess arm pieces on the top or cut. Next, glue the top of the 4x7 bead. 
Place the cone hat on top with the seam in the back. Pull the hat gently down so that it comes around the nose just a little and the hat should completely cover the whole 4x7 bead all the way around. Place glue to the bottom base front for the two shoes. Place the back end of the shoes on the glue. Adjust so that they lie flat on the surface. When the gnome is standing. You could add stockings to shoes by using two strands of embroidery floss in between one strand of kite string for a stripe pattern. Place a strip of glue on a sheet protector or plastic surface. Add the strings for 8 to 10 rows. Press strings side by side so there's no spaces. Adding glue in between. At the end, glue a 1 8 inch piece of quilling cardstock and let that dry. Gently remove from the plastic surface. Cut into 1 16th to 1 8 inch strips. Adjust as needed. Cut the corners off the shoe edges. Glue the stockings to the front base. You can gently bend them at the knee. To make a braided gnome, glue nose to the top of the 6 by 9 millimeter bead as shown. Select a 1 inch yarn, kite string, or braided floss piece for the braid. Glue an arch, semi-circle shape around the nose, top and sides. Place the braid piece on the glue and press. Cut the ends to the base. You can tie thread ribbon pieces to the ends, double knot, clip excess, place a drop of glue at the knot, and then use a pin to fluff up the braid ends. Then repeat the steps for gluing the sleeves, hands, hat, and shoes onto the gnome. You can decorate the gnomes with an activity, hobby, sport, on wheels, in an office, at school, or with music, art, movies, a story, or family and friends theme. I hope you enjoyed my version of Mini Gnomes with Pony Beads. Thank you so much for watching.